Okay, so we want to take this silver bit off the top of the shifter so that we can paint that and color match it to the rest of the car. I'm actually going to leave uh, the rest of it around there. If you check out the video that has on how to pull the shifter out, I am pretty sure that I go through the process of uh, taking out the clip and everything like that and taking the whole boot off and this little bit of trim slides down and off the rest of the shifter assembly and everything like that. We're not gonna do that today. That's not what I'm interested in. I'm only interested in this one bit here because this is the main part that you see. So it's very simple. In the little paddle that we've got here, uh, if we get a flathead screwdriver and shove it in there and then lever uh, this down, we'll be able to pop this whole uh, paddle out a bit and then there's just some very simple uh, little clips that allow it to swing down here which will just slide straight out and once we've opened that there's a screw inside that will unscrew and the whole thing will come straight out so it's very simple we just leverage that out whoop sliding around a bit there we go so that's it out there and then we can just gently pull the bottom out as well this is a nice new one so it's nice and tight uh, so I am having a little bit of trouble getting it in one smooth go you may not have the same kind of uh, difficulty if you are using a older shifter uh, I obviously am being quite careful because I don't want to mess any of the leather up or break anything, snap any of these clips. So I'm just being very careful of that as I go. All right, there we go. So that's now out. You can see a little spring here, which slides up there. Um, uh, all of this is gonna be quite hard to show on the camera up here. So you'll see inside our shifter, we've got a little gap there. And that is where this little spring that's inside the paddle sits when we're oh, holding it in the right spot. And that's where that little spring will sit. And that's obviously where it slides in and out. You can see a little clips that are on the inside that the uh, paddle slides onto. All very simple stuff. And then this little clip at the top, there we go. A little clip at the top that obviously helps hold it in and stop it from dropping all the way out along with the spring that gives it that nice tactile uh, feel as you grab it. So as you can see, once we've uh, got that paddle out in here, we've got a nice little Phillips head screw and all we do is unscrew him and he'll come straight out and then our uh, trim will just fall straight off. That screw is now out and there's our bit of, pl our bit of plastic trim. Let's see how well the camera captures this but that is looking pretty good. I see a little imperfection here, but I think I'm just gonna go straight over the top of that. I'm not uh, overly concerned. See if this camera can get it. If it wants to focus, or oh, it doesn't want to focus. There it is, oh, there it is. Yeah, that's not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm actually gonna start painting that with the black now. Gonna give it the first little coat and uh, then this afternoon I'll throw the next coat on and it's, uh, it's coming along quite nicely. All right, well, it's raining, so I don't know how well this is going to uh, work in terms of sound, but as you can see, the paint has now dried and it's not too bad. Let's have a look at it over here. How's that looking? How's that looking? Woo -hoo -hoo, look at that. Not bad at all. So, uh, I'm not going to keep painting this because it is, it's raining. So I can't keep painting it when I'm raining, but just for the sake of the video, I will throw it back in, um, and just show that, um, all put together because, uh, that way I can get this video up because I'm already having some people after seeing uh, the story on Instagram are already asking when the video is gonna be. So I'll get this up as soon as possible for those people. Let's uh, just screw that little screw back in. Oh, would you, look, would you look at that? See how easy that is? See how easy this is? 
little screw goes back in. One of the few things that Ford did easy for us. All right, I'm not gonna tighten that all the way back up because it's not necessary. Screw goes back in. Our little uh, spring needs to line up there. Whoop, there we go, spring is in. Should just be able to push the little clips at the bottom straight back down. Oh boy, I don't want to give it too much because obviously I don't want to, uh, there it is. And it's back in. Would you look at that? Oh, would you just look at it? Perfection, it's beautiful. That is, that is actually really nice. I'm really happy with that. How's that gonna look? How good is that? How good is that gonna look? Boop, in the car like that. Black spears, black ICC, black shifter. Oh, lovely. My nice uh, leather, faux leather um, sock as well from uh, Sarah Customs. So I'll uh, throw this onto there and it's gonna look great. Anyway guys, that is how to disassemble and you know, do a little bit of paint on your shifter. I hope this helped everybody who wanted to add some color to their uh, shifter. Thank you for watching the video and I will see you in the next one.